behind you. Go, go, go! Go towards that brightly colored bridge. You have left. They're gonna kill us. What other choice do we have? We jump. No, it's too high and you can't swim. I'll boost you up. You run past them. You'll keep me afloat. Ellie. No time to argue. Ellie. said it was a bad idea. Yeah. Granted, Ellie's decision Henry, understandable. He's awake. Hey you. We're alive. <laughs> okay. See? What I tell you, huh? He's good. Oh. Everything's fine. You know, Sam's the one who spotted you. You guys are taking quite a bit of water. What's wrong? Henry! Get back, hey, Sean. hey, 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 hey. He's pissed, but he's not gonna do anything. You sure about that? Stop! Joel! He left us to die out there. No, you had a good chance of making it, and you did. But coming back for you meant putting him at risk. Stay back. If it was the other way around, would you have come back for us? I saved you. He saved me too. We would have drowned. Maybe I'm just petty, but I'm, I'm, shot I'm okay. Eh, I, I would have been tempted to. I would definitely understand being defensive after what Henry did. You know, for what it's worth, I'm really glad we but spotted you. I would not have gained anything by killing Henry, to be fair. Now, that radio tower, it's on the other side of this cliff. Okay? Place is going to be full of supplies. You're going to be really happy you didn't kill me. You better fucking hope it's Hey, we're gonna search this area. See what we come up with. That was intense. You cool? Yeah. Let's go find that radio tower. Hey, maybe we can find something in that boat over there. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Way ahead of you, kid. Yeah, I do agree with you. It's interesting how they're kind of the parallel of Joel and Ellie. They're not like Ellie. Like, there are significant differences that I can tell. Um, but both of them are very heavily invested in the safety of the people that they care about. <laughs> There's a little bit different in the water. And that, and that, dif well, and that similarity is significant enough. Yeah, for sure. I just, I can see it in the minds of like a lesser writer. Hey, look, it's Joel and Ellie, but reversed. Yeah. But they're of different races. Different genders. It's like, I don't Second owe you day. anything. Oh. Yeah, almost did. They're all right. I think it's good to have them around. I think you're right. <clears throat> did everyone have boats back then? Got a 60 foot yacht. Really? No. <laughs> Making progress. <laughs> hey, Ellie! I think we found something. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> that Joel always climbing. Hey, I bet this goes all the way through. That Joel always vaulting over things and killing people. Give me a hand with this. So it's a Joel thing. Thank God. All right, same time. Come on, let's do it. 
Run! Left! Alright, come on, kids, go! You go in. Okay. Hey, flashlights out. Sam, stay. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you seen Suicide Squad yet? Nope. I have not. Oh God, dude. I, I wanted to, but the people that I'm around, I guess, don't want to watch it. So just watch it on HBO Max. Come on. But then, uh, but then it's not a theater experience. No one cares. Also, I don't have HBO Max. Oh. And I don't know. I, I feel like I don't want to pay for another right, subscription we'll service. Out. Yeah, but HBO Max is the best. <laughs> I technically I could watch. Oh my god! Oh. Did you see that? No. What happened? Okay, so the little kid model glitched, and you know that model, that thing they glitch where they just like stiffen. He did yep. that and went up the ladder. <laughs> like, let's see a replay of that. I'll I'll check out the recording once you post it. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'll be looking for that. Uh, but yeah, we all we're all waiting in with bated breath for you to see Suicide Squad. Oh, so we can review it? Oh no, we already did. But there's, oh. a re I don't want to spoil it, but there's a reason we want you to see it. Oh, but, me in particular, huh? Yeah. Alright, what I do? I'll let you be sooner rather than later. It's blocked. We'll be waiting 86 years. If you can get it open, I can A thousand years. <clears throat> oh, that is a big rat. Uh, I'd say we're probably about half over, either, either we're at halfway or about over halfway through this game. Ooh. So let's see, this right. is, yeah, because I think we've only got, because it's divided into, like, seasons. I think this is fall, so we, I think we only have spring and winter left. <laughs> Can we get out this way? It's actually kind of fun. Nah, there's no way to reach it's, that. it's weird to think that, like, the genre with the most sequels in it is probably the horror genre. Oh, absolutely. It's jammed. It's not weird at all, though, because most of those movies are awesome. made for, like, $2 and make uh, millions back. It's because it's probably one of the easiest genres to just, you know, just make something and it'll get people's attention. Exactly. That's why it's so bogged down with shit. Look, a generator. I guess in a way I'm surprised to see that we don't have more romance sequels because there are people who shell out, who would shell out a lot of cash for that sort of crap too. You, I don't know. Don't ask me why because it's not my genre. But I feel like romance movies are more, more expensive than you think. I, um, I maybe. Uh, okay, I guess I'll tell you what. Look up. I don't even know what's a popular like romantic comedy. Um, popular romantic comedy. Um, I suppose some of the stuff with Tom Hanks in it, like it uh, "You've Got Mail" or uh, "The Terminal." Okay, look at look up the budget right. for "You've Got Mail." Well, it's like that's a movie that has more of it going on. But I'll check it out. Yeah, budget sixty five million bucks. Box office two hundred and fifty million. Now go look at the box office and return of Friday the thirteenth, the final chapter. Two point two million budget, box office thirty three million. There you go. Based on the numbers that we've seen, that's what I've I guess I've come to expect based on how these were usually handled. Yeah. By the way, I, I do love the subtitle saying the final chapter for a 1984 Friday the 13th movie. And it's not even the only one in this series to be called the final one. 
like Friday the 13th in like 2022, most definitely probably actually the final chapter. No. Yeah. Evil never dies. Yeah. But no, um, it's funny because that one's the final chapter, and uh, uh, the ninth one is Final Friday. And neither one of them are the final one. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling like experimental with the channel. I'm just trying a bunch of here. No, that's... Experimentation and creativity is the lifeblood of entertainment content. I might throw out a thing in the Discord and see if anybody would like to join us for a commentary Sunday. Yeah, uh, cool. What time works for you? Hmm, for Sunday. Ooh, this Sunday. Um, probably would have to be really late. Uh, this Sunday or next, it doesn't matter. I just, I can't do like we did the Friday one. <laughs> I was so <laughs> tired the next day. Oh, no, I gotcha. Um... Maybe next Sunday. This Sunday we could probably, I don't know, maybe take it easier or something. Right, see if that generator still got Sounds some good. Juice. Yeah, just let me know what you want to do. All right. I know it might be weird talking about other YouTube channels, uh, you know, on a YouTube channel. Do you have any uh, favorite YouTube channels? Other than uh, this one, of course. Red Butter Media, Geek Dilution, uh, Call Me Kevin. Those are the main ones that I love. I don't know, I fell off a bunch of them because they just turned into like me. That's usually what happens, unfortunately. Um, just the state of how things go, business-wise. But no, uh, I I still like um the stuff that uh, like Lyle Rath, aka Lyle McCushback, does. I've never heard of him. Really? Have you heard of Sanity Not Included? Nope. Really? I got into the YouTube game like really late. Okay. Uh, like I didn't even know too much about the Nostalgia Critic until that changed the channel thing happened. And, like, I liked a couple of his videos, but I was, like, after a while, I was just like, oh, yeah, this guy is annoying, and I don't want to think about him anymore. And now I never stop hearing about him. Yeah, some of his earlier stuff I was interested in because he seemed to actually have critical, you know, like, commentary for things and review stuff. But his personality just did not, um, I don't know. I don't know. Someone used Something to about it always rubbed me the wrong way, but I, look like that's the case I guess I just that. ignored it for a little bit. But then I just stopped getting interested in his content, just because that's how things are. Oh, look you know, at that look... bad boy. What, what is that? That is the shorty. It is a shotgun pistol. Those do exist. No, I'm holding. Oh, I mean, in real life. Wait, you mean this isn't real life? Well, I mean, <laughs> if we live surreally, I mean, perhaps everything is real life. Or is it just fantasy? Mm. Oh, oh, shit! But no, if we ever, if we ever get around to, like, Metro, there's, like, a... Uh, uh, redux, there is, like, a, a single-shot shotgun called a shot. Or an A-shot. Oh. Uh, it's yeah. based off of a real firearm. So. I guess I've played Metro before. Oh, yeah, I need to finish Exodus, yeah. though. Yeah. I got that on the good old PS5. It's never finished. Yeah, my, my family used... They had a lot of shotguns, and, um... Like, the first, like for Christmas one time, I actually got, like, a, a single load 12-gauge. So, I've done, single shot like shotguns are definitely much more common than most people would probably assume. Can I open this? Uh, yes, I yes you can. can. Yeah. 
So this is probably one of my favorite areas in the game because all of the collectibles uh, in this area basically just tell the story of what happened to these people. Oh. Basically, because I'm not going to say who made uh, basically, somebody left the door open. I do like piecing together stories sometimes. Um, Elder Scrolls has like a similar mentality to it with like some of its older games. Um, Speaking dark. of, did you see they're re-releasing Skyrim again? Again? What? In what form this time? The next-gen consoles uh, upgrade. I'm guessing... Like, normally, just after, like, Microsoft's acquisition, I would say it's probably a Microsoft decision. But more than- but this is- has, this has been Bethesda's, like, behavior for, like, the last decade. So, I mean, we can't really be surprised that something like this would happen again. No, it's literally their resident in the floor. This is awkward. Yeah. I know, it's like What? Hey, this thing isn't budget, man. Just go, get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! Yeah. That is a lot of clickers. But no, another game I like piecing together the story on is uh, Dark Souls. I mean, Vati Vidya was like a cool resource for like seeing the history of like all the items, but it's also yeah, cool yeah, to yeah. see. You know, I oh, this item, this description it. actually kind of tells a story. Or else, it, or is a piece of a puzzle in a grander narrative. That's a game I've been thinking about having you do some videos on in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't played that shit. I mean, Dark Souls. I hesitate to call it horror. It definitely has a lot of horror elements to it. I mean, it's no more. It's more. It's as horror as uh, fucking Hellboy. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, you're you're right. It would probably qualify. It's dark would, fantasy, which is close enough. And I would more than definitely want to play it. I wish you had a PlayStation so you could play Bloodborne. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I could probably get the remaster on PC, or if I could find a key for it, I'd get the Prepare to Die edition. Oh shit. Yeah, it's still disappointing that, like, the old Prepare to Die edition is no longer available on Steam because the remaster came out. And Namco Bandai decided to be butts about it. Come on. Blood up that shotgun, man. There's two of them, at least. Get off me. Oh my god. Oof. Oh no, that's actual that's an actual clicker. I can't really do the noise very well. It's a cool sound design choice though. Assuming you can hear it now. Yeah, I I was just being a I was being a goober and I forgot, oh yeah, I can turn up the stream volume. Yes, Nick is not always uh, tech savvy. Yeah, no, uh, Austin messaged me the other night as I was getting ready to go to bed. I can't get OBS to work. Help. It's like, it's a very simple system. I, I mean, some of it's not necessarily intuitive if you're not used to, like, going through system menus and stuff like that, so. Well, and some of it, some of it I think help a lot because he's on Mac, and I'm like, I've never used oh. Mac in my life. Max are. Look at this place. They're. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be snooty about like the Mac versus PC it? thing, but I mean, I swear, if people like complain about like, wait, why doesn't a Mac have this sort of functionality? Well, it's because it doesn't have very good software support. There we go. Good job, kid. I mean, Microsoft has a lot more software support too. 